What's going on YouTube? This is Jay Rich back again with another one and today we are tuning the antenna that I just bought. Uh, broke my six foot skip shooter so I bought a seven foot skip shooter. Skip shooter is the brand of the antenna. They are very nice, very durable. I love them and they are at a great price uh, versus buying something out of the truck stop. So I like skip shooter antennas very much so they do not pay me to say that and yes I do have to buy my own antennas I am not that famous yet anyways let's get into it so we are uh, going to tune the antenna and on my galaxy radio it is different than say a Cobra 29 on a Cobra 29 you have a a, a, a calibrate knob when you flip the switch you have to get the needle into the right spot then you can flip to SWR and uh, check the reading now the galaxy is internally calibrated so you just flip the switch to SWR it internally calibrates itself and uh, key the mic up and uh, it tells you what the SWR is basically uh, when you're checking your SWRs if you are higher on channel 40 than you are on channel 1, your antenna is too tall. You need to bring that antenna down a little bit. You'll see how I do that in the video. If you are higher on channel 1 than you are on channel 40, your antenna is too short. You need to make that antenna longer. So, um, in general, usually, I like to use an external meter and this is a crappy meter I mean these things are like 20 30 bucks something like that in getting ready for this video I want to make the best video I can uh, this meter is not working correctly I don't feel it's working correctly it's just there's something odd about it and I don't know what it is so this might be junk now as for the meter on my radio I have had that meter compared to um, the professional antenna analyzers that the CB shops use. And my meter is, is stupid close. I mean, just very, very minuscule, different reading that's not going to matter whatsoever. So, let's go on ahead and get into the video. Go on ahead and hit that subscribe right over here in the corner. That is very much appreciated. Uh, at the end of the video, I will put up a playlist in the corner. Um, go ahead and watch some of the other CB-related videos that I have or my trucking-related videos. Um, so, let's get into it. All right, so here is my Galaxy 47 HP. We're on channel 19. Let's go start on channel 1 because you want to calibrate channel 1 and channel 40. Those are the two you're looking for. And what you want is for your needle to be the same on both channels. And what we're looking at, you see where it says SWR, that is that bottom arc. We're not looking at the top arc or the middle, we're looking at the bottom arc. So, we key up. Well, we need to flip the switch to SWR. Key up. And that needle barely moves not even a little bit okay let's go over here change it to 40 switch is still on SWR key up and we're a little off we're about 1.2 right there all right let's adjust the antenna all right so now we've got our antenna off and always remember when you are checking your SWRs to um i like to have the truck running doors need to be closed windows need to be up as if you're actually driving you know the only variance is is the wind effect on the antenna uh, but generally generally that's not a lot so let's get on with it seven foot skip shooter i had to turn the truck off so i could open the window because the some bitch is seven foot long Anyways, they have a nail as the tunable tip. There's a set screw right there. So with the little Allen wrench, loosen that up. 
and you want to make quarter inch adjustments that's what you want to make small adjustments and uh, if you're not seeing much of a change you can start going a little more and a little more than a quarter inch but generally <clears throat> and with a tunable tip antenna like this it really doesn't matter because all you're doing is pulling pulling the nail back and forth but if you're having to actually cut on the whip of the antenna or something quarter inch increments stay with that because you can't put it back all right so let's check this again we are on channel 40 our radio is set to swr squelch that out actually just turned the volume down so key up now we're still we're right below 1.2 on channel 40 let's go to channel one and channel one is not moving at all so we come down a little bit more on 40 and it's higher on 40 I need to go shorter with the antenna and I'm gonna shorten this up a good bit this time because channel 40 didn't move hardly at all on that first quarter inch adjustment so I'm gonna go in just a little farther this time and uh, get us a little closer where I don't make a 15 minute video on this all right back again we're on channel one SWR switch is flipped the one still way down there in the basement yeah Lee that's awesome channel 40 oh yeah channel 40 could come down just another hair maybe let's check channel one again oh yeah channel one ain't moving at all channel 40 oh yeah we're really close really close all right, so I made that final adjustment off camera. SWR is on, on channel one. And it's down at the bottom. Let's see, channel 40. Oh yeah. I'd say that's perfectly matched. Let's go back to channel one. Yeah, that is right where I want to be. All right, there you have it. That's how you tune the CB antennas. There's nothing to it when you have a tunable tip. If you don't have a tunable tip, there are antennas out there where you, they have a cap on them. Oh, cap on them like this Fire Stick. Uh, this from a Fire Stick 2, but the Fire Stick 1, it actually has copper wire in it that you have to pull out, trim that, put it back, put the cap on, and it sucks. It, it's, I don't, I don't even fool with an antenna that's not a tunable tip. So, there you have it. I really appreciate you guys watching. Go ahead, watch my playlist, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'm Jay Rich, keeping knees in the breeze and the shiny side up. We'll be seeing you.